for me, I think music has played like a significant role in my life just because um, it made me a person who I am today, which is I love to to make people move, to, to enjoy people, to enjoy the culture, who they are as a person. And then like, you know, I can remember like just growing up and listening to, uh, you know, my brother's DJ and learning the whole aspect of learning how to DJ and blend music together was like an amazing experience for me just because it was new, it was fresh, it was, you know, artistry at its best. I mean, you're blending two records, trying to put the beat together, match it in, beat per minute. It was it was an amazing like experience watching my brothers do it. So, you know, when I actually went ahead and started to do that myself, you know, I just wanted to keep doing it and doing it. After a while, after trying to blend music, you know, I, I, I can remember that 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 moment where I actually blended, and I didn't even know that I blended the, the track. My brother Jazz was like, "Man, do you you know you just actually blended two records together without going off beat?" I'm like, "Holy shit! I didn't really know. I, I didn't know how to feel because it was like it was like an outer body experience where it's like I saw myself looking at myself, looking at the turntables, like." looking at me put two records together was an amazing experience so I took that and I kept going with it and practicing and practice and I remember going to the to the boys club in Little Village practicing there and you know I was mastering the skill and I'm kind of glad that that actually did happen because in reality it took me away from from the gangs um in Little Village you know this is you know a lot of gang bangers that, that, that were trying to you know, uh, recruit people, and, and I got away with that. And the reason why is because you know, you know, music was playing a major role in my life, where it was it was moving me. You know, not just you know dancing, but it, you know, it was affecting my heart. And, you know, I was I became you know to love the music more, which whether it was like house music and all the other genres that that time, like you know, eighties music and stuff that I got introduced to my brothers because they were older, but. You know, it was a great experience for me because from that point on, after so many times practicing, I actually had an opportunity to DJ, um, you know, with some some great DJs, you know, like Kashmir and Bad Boy Bill. And Bad Boy Bill, I looked up to him when I was a kid. I can remember every Saturday, the, you know, hot mixes on, on BMX where I was just recording his mixes, trying to master his style, trying to master his scratches. And that's why, I, I mean, there are no other DJs aside from my brothers that I would actually look up to, but Bad Boy Bill. And I got an opportunity to actually DJ with him. And I, and I, and I told him, and I was like, man, bro, yeah, I just want to let you know that for me, you're one of my icons that I truly admire. And I'm here in Rochester, New York, DJing with him at a rave. And it was like an amazing experience for him. I mean, it was a probably thought I was a goofy, but you know what? I didn't really care because you know at that moment it was it was a dream come true for me to actually DJ with.